the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy, and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, whom, taught by the Holy Spirit, we dare to call our Father, bring, we pray, to perfection in our hearts the spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters, that we may merit to enter into the inheritance which you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Joshua. The Lord said to Joshua, Today I will begin to exalt you in the sight of all Israel, that they may know I am with you as I was with Moses. Now command the priests carrying the Ark of the Covenant to come to a halt in the Jordan when you reach the edge of the waters. So Joshua said to the children of Israel, Come here and listen to the words of the Lord your God. This is how you will know that there is a living God in your midst, who at your approach will dispossess the Canaanites. The Ark of the Covenant of the Lord of the whole earth will precede you into the Jordan. When the soles of the feet of the priests carrying the Ark of the Lord, the Lord of the whole earth, touch the water of the Jordan, it will cease to flow, for the water flowing down from upstream will halt in a solid bank. This people struck their tents to cross the Jordan with the priests carrying the Ark of the Covenant ahead of them. No sooner had these priestly bearers of the Ark waded into the waters at the edge of the Jordan, which overflows all its banks, during the entire season of the harvest, then the waters flowing from upstream halted, backing up in a solid mass for a very great distance indeed, from Adam, a city in the direction of Zarathon, while those flowing downstream toward the salt sea of the Arabah disappeared entirely. Thus the people crossed over opposite Jericho, while all Israel crossed over on dry land, ground rather, the priests carrying the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord remained motionless on dry ground in the bed of the Jordan until the whole nation had completed the passage. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia! Alleluia! When Israel came forth from Egypt, the house of Jacob from a people of alien tongue, Judah became his sanctuary, Israel his domain. Alleluia. The sea beheld and fled, Jordan turned back, the mountains skipped like rams, the hills like the lambs of the flock. Alleluia. Why is it, O sea, that you flee, O Jordan, that you turn back, you mountains that you skip like rams, you hills like lambs of the flock? Alleluia. Alleluia. Lord be with you and with your spirit, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Peter approached Jesus and asked him, Lord, if my brother sins against me, how often must I forgive him? As many as seven times? Jesus answered, I say to you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. That is why the kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who decided to settle accounts with his servants. When he began the accounting, a debtor was brought before him who owed him a huge amount. Since he had no way of paying it back, his master ordered him to be sold, along with his wife, his children, and all his property in payment of the debt. 
At that, the servant fell down, did him homage, and said, Be patient with me, and I will pay you back in full. Moved with compassion, the master of that servant let him go and forgave him the loan. When that servant had left, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a much smaller amount. He seized him and started to choke him, demanding, Pay back what you owe. Falling to his knees, his fellow servant begged him, Be patient with me and I will pay you back. But he refused. Instead, he had the fellow servant put in prison until he paid back the debt. Now when his fellow servants saw what had happened, they were deeply disturbed and went to their master and reported the whole affair. His master summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant, I forgave you your entire debt because you begged me to. Should you not have had pity on your fellow servant as I had pity on you? Then in anger his master handed him over to the torturers until he should pay back the whole debt. So will my heavenly Father do to you unless each of you forgives his brother from his heart. When Jesus finished these words, he left Galilee and went to the district of Judea across the Jordan. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Perhaps forgiving those who have wronged us is one of the most challenging things for us in life. Peter's question stems from the difficulties we face when forgiving someone. How often must I forgive my brother? This implies that he believed that there must be some kind of a limit to our forgiveness. Seven seemed to have been a good enough number for him. In that time and culture, seven was considered an ample and a complete number. So it appeared that seven would satisfy the call to forgive one another. But Jesus says that seven times is not enough, but 77 times. In essence, he's saying that our forgiveness should have no limits. Even when a person's behavior toward us means that for our own emotional, physical, or spiritual safety, we must keep that person at a distance, we are still called to have a forgiving heart toward that person. So we pray that we may be merciful as our Heavenly Father is merciful. With faith in God's love and mercy, we now turn to him with these, our prayers. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and for those who assist him in leading our church, that they may be generous and sympathetic toward those who struggle with their faith, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for judges and magistrates, that their decisions may be directed not by vengeance, but by justice and mercy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those persecuted and imprisoned for matters of conscience, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, that we may be as forgiving of others as we have been forgiven by Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died and gone before us marked with the sign of faith. In a special way today, we pray for the repose of the souls of Simon Yu and Chung Wang Kam, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for those confined to their homes due to age or illness, for those in nursing facilities or hospitals, for those who care for them, and for all those intentions we now offer from the silence of our hearts. For these we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask you to hear and answer these prayers that we offer you this day and help us to follow your will in all that we say and do. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your church, for in your mercy you have given them to be offered, and by your power you transform them into the mystery of our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you for your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Anus Dei, qui toles peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Anus Dei, qui toles peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui toles peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May the communion in your sacrament that we have consumed save us, O Lord, and confirm us in the light of your truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.